It's a historic Memorial Day at Fort Snelling National Cemetery, thanks to many of our CARE 11 viewers who donated to the Flags for Fort Snelling campaign. There are American flags now at every military headstone. It is the first time it's happened at Fort Snelling in decades. Today, America's fallen military heroes were remembered at Fort Snelling and hundreds of other cemeteries across the country. Camille Williams joins us now with more on today's emotional tributes. Rena, hundreds of people showed up this morning to Fort Snelling National Cemetery to honor their loved ones and remember the sacrifices many made. Today's Memorial Day program included a band, wreath presentation, and speeches from the Governor, U.S. Senator Amy Klobuchar, and Brigadier General John Safstrom. They talked about how this summer marks the 100th anniversary of when U.S. troops deployed to fight in World War I. They also talked about what today means for everyone. So one of my focus is on this day is not only to honor those who have died, but also to think about how we can honor their memories by making sure we make each generation of veterans of a better life. Today we remember the freedom we share pleasure. Our rights, our liberty, and our democracy is not free. It has to be won and must always be protected and defended. And over at Lakewood Cemetery in Minneapolis, people gathered for a ceremony to honor our fallen heroes. Many of those in attendance sat under the trees to try to stay cool. The ceremony included tributes, speeches, as you see a dove release, and music. Even with the heat, many turned out to remember those who have died and fought for this country.